so this is the first time we've ever done anything like this at 10thumbspro.com. I got contacted by a website, banggood.com, that sells discounted products, and they sell discounted ukuleles, and they sent me this tenor ukulele right here by Tom. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing a couple things on it and reviewing it, and we're going to look at some of the physical aspects of it. And maybe this is the ukulele for you, all right? Maybe, maybe not, okay? So what I want you to do now, if you're interested in, in a $100 tenor, then this is the lesson for you, okay? If you're looking, that's your price range, that's the size you want, let's go ahead and talk about it. Advantages and disadvantages of this ukulele. So follow me on in, let's zoom in, and let's break it down. Okay, so first off, we're going to go ahead and cover some of the physical aspects of this ukulele, and then I'm going to go ahead and play a couple things for you and talk about what I think of it and what it's good for. Um, we have some tiny little metallic tuning pegs. It's surprisingly lightweight. That was one of the first things I noticed. Most ukuleles with a pickup are pretty heavy. Uh, I have a concert with a pickup that's about twice as heavy as this, so I was pretty impressed with with just how light it is. Um, I'm not a. I like my instruments to feel sturdy, but I don't really want them to be heavy because I'm traveling a lot. So I like the ability that I could pack this up and throw it on my back pretty easily. Um, it's got a pretty color. It's got a nice kind of like a tortoise shell Ray-Ban looking wood trim. And it, my first impression is that it's a, it's a pretty ukulele, just surprisingly light. Now, one of the bonuses I thought for $100 was that it came with a bag, which was pretty cool. Um, usually you end up getting a ukulele and get a bag. The bag's not a hard case, so if you were still traveling by airplane, you might want to get something else. But the bag's nice and it's lightweight and it's cool that it also comes with it. As far as sound goes, let's take a look at a couple of things when playing the ukulele, what we got going. It's a tenor ukulele, so if you're thinking tenor, this might be a good place to start. You can see we have pretty good sustain up the neck. Fifth fret, seventh fret, tenth fret, and twelfth fret. Now, what I use a tenor for is I use a tenor for playing usually with the low G. And if you are thinking about maybe getting a tenor and just putting a low G on there, but you're not going to play it that often, you're just going to play a couple songs, this would be a great ukulele for that. At $100, um, it's a quality instrument. If you're going to have a low G and play a tenor all the time and you want to be a professional, I'd probably go with something a little nicer. But if you want a ukulele, a tenor size, just for the low G that you're not going to play that often, this is a great place for that as well because you can get way up on the neck. All right, we have sound to about the about the 14th fret, all right? Now let's take a look at a blues turnaround on it and see what that sounds like. So the sound is pretty good. You can see that um, it's not quite as full as some of the other tenors I've played, but it still has a really high quality sound. And if I were playing this ukulele, I'd be doing a lot more lead kind of things. I would, because you can see it with this big fried wet or this big fried wet space, not a big fried wet space, this wide fret space. in there and get in. I'm playing on the 10th fret here. Alright, so you can see that if you're playing lead and you're doing some improvisation, there's a lot of cool things to benefit from having a ukulele this size as well. Alright, so those are the specs. That's what it sounds like. I like the lead tone when I'm playing it. If I were to just be strumming. I'm 
I'm not sure this is the ukulele I would grab. So far, it's pretty new, and it's still having a little trouble holding a tune as well. I mean, I tuned it before this video, and it's already kind of popping out a little bit. That's usually has to do with more with the strings and the ukulele. And then I got some brand new strings on here. Okay, so overall verdict, $100 tenor ukulele. Um, it's a great ukulele to have if you're looking to have a tenor and throw a low G on there and experiment with it. It's a good ukulele to have if maybe your first ukulele is going to be a tenor. If you buy cheap, you're going to buy twice. So if you buy a $40 ukulele, it's not going to hold a tune. You're not going to enjoy it. Around $100 is where you can buy a ukulele that's going to be quality, that's going to hold a tune, that's going to be fun to play. You don't have to break the bank. So if that's what you're looking for, this is the perfect ukulele for you. If you're looking for value, if you're looking for something to get you started, but you're not going to get frustrated with, this is a really good ukulele, especially if you're looking for the size. Okay? Um, I Tenor is not my favorite size of ukulele. But a lot of people are. Jake, Shem Jake who plays Bohemian Rhapsody, um, a lot of these guys, a lot of these professionals, when I was over in England and I saw these guys playing, a lot of them were playing this tenor size ukulele. So if that's where kind of you want to go with your music, if you're more into like the melody, then this is a really good place for you to get going, all right? Or also, if your kid wants to buy a ukulele, if your kid wants to make ice, Or also maybe if your kid wants a ukulele and they tell you you want a tenor but you're kind of skeptical, are they going to play it or they're not going to play it, this would be a really good ukulele for you to buy. If you're an intermediate ukulele player and you're looking to invest in a really nice instrument because you've been playing for two or three years, I would probably go with something a little more expensive to this. But this would be a great, hey, I have a soprano ukulele, I want a tenor ukulele, or hey, a friend of mine or my kid or my aunt or my uncle want a tenor ukulele to get started on playing and it's their first ukulele, this would be a good one to buy because it's going to hold a tune, they can play it, it sounds good, but it's not too expensive. All right, that's the ukulele. Thanks for watching, 10thumbspro.com. All right, so that was it. That's the conclusion. I think that, like I said earlier, it's, it's a really good ukulele if you are a concert or soprano player and you want to have a tenor and a low G, but it's not going to be your everyday ukulele. Um... If you are going to be an everyday tenor player, and that's really what you want to do, I would invest a little more money and go something a little bit nicer. But if you're looking to casually play the tenor, or you know someone that's their first ukulele might be a tenor, this is a good place to go because it holds a tune, it sounds nice, it has some sustain, it has a pickup, and it's a versatile ukulele, and the price is right. You're not going to break the bank, but you're not going to buy something that you're going to hate either. All right. So it's a good, it's a good first ukulele out there. Um, or it's a good, hey, I want a tenor, but I'm not going to play it a lot, ukulele. Like I said, if you want to play tenor full-time, I'd go a little something nicer. And if you're looking for your very, very first ukulele and you're undecided which size, I would also go ahead and try to play a soprano in concert and compare. But a first tenor ukulele or just have a tenor back in the bag, I'm going to go ahead and give this one the thumbs up. All right, thanks, band good. Appreciate it. Links below, everything you need, the links below. So you can go ahead and contact these dudes and go ahead and grab this ukulele if you want it. All right, thanks for watching.